In this video, I'm going to talk about measures of spread and center and position again, um, which is all about one variable statistics, but this time I want to talk about range and standard deviation. <clears throat> if we were looking at a set of uh, midterm exams, for example, let's say you had an 85%, 76%, 92%, 88%, and an 80%, and we went, the question was about what is the range of these grades. In statistics, what we're usually looking for are um, two sets of numbers. What's the smallest and what's the largest? They go from this number to that number. So we would actually, we need to um, find out here what is the smallest number on the page. Oh, that's going to be 80. And we need to find out what's the largest number on the page. And, oh, wait, not 80. I actually see a 76, 76, and I also see a 92. So the range being from 76 to 92, which actually gives us a spread of 16. <clears throat> so that means there's a 16 um, percentage point range between all of the grades. But the next thing that's sometimes interesting when we talk about this is, well... <clears throat> Of course, we could find the mean or the median, and you could know what the middle grade is here, um, which in this case, it's actually the mean. The mean grade would be uh, 84.2. So we have all the grades, and then here's, of course, the 84.2, and some of them are over on that side, and some of them are below us. When we talk about standard deviation, what we're actually talking about is the average distance from here. So if all of the grades say we're here, and then the other grades are coming down here, the average distance this direction and the average distance, it's really saying about, on average, how far away from the middle. This is what's standard deviation. Standard deviation is really all about. Um, I'm not going to go through how to calculate it out by hand here uh, because this is supposed to be prepping you for the ACT and you do have the use of the Inspire calculator. So uh, what I would strongly encourage is when you see a standard deviation or any of these data statistics where it gives you some uh, data like this, Put it into a table. First thing you do, just, you see the table, you know, put it into your list and spreadsheet table and write in all the numbers. And then you can go to your uh, menu function and you can find your statistics and you can do what's called a one var stat on it. Now, you do need to stop right now and go and actually do this. Stop and do it, okay? As if you don't stop and do it, there's no way you're going to remember how to remember this when it comes actually time for the ACT. So stop and do it right now. Put it in. And what you're going to get is all of the statistics. The one var stat is going to give you the mean, the median, the mode. It's going to give you the minimum, the maximum. It's going to give you the standard deviation also, which is abbreviated as SX. That is your standard deviation. And in this case, it's about 6.3. So if you didn't get 6.3, you need to go back and do it again, okay? Um, the next thing that you're going to get from that one var would be your a five number summary, which is going to have a minimum a Q1, a median, which is the middle number, a Q3, and it's also going to give you a maximum. Okay? In this case, for this one, it is a... Uh, 76, 78, uh, 
85, 90, and 92. But you already know this because you did it. You put it into your calculator and you got these numbers. So I don't have to go through how to calculate them because if you didn't get these, you need to raise your hand, ask your neighbor, talk to the teacher, find out how did I get these all these numbers? Because those those numbers, what we're going to end up using them for is to kind of create a visual representation of the data. You're going to create a visual representation of the data where this middle line, that's your median. That's the 85. This little dot, that's the bottom one. That's 76. This, um, Then you've got a 78 here, and then you've got a 90, and you've got a 92. Now this is called a box plot, and it's just a visual representation of the data that you already had from the previous page. Furthermore, with this box plot, the other thing that is kind of neat about it is that you can tell in each one of these sections, you've got 25% of all of your grades are in this, in this lower section right here. Another 25% are going to fall between, oh, there we go, are going to fall between 78 and 85. Furthermore, you can get another 25% over here and up here. So that's why it's called, actually, um, if you notice back up here with these numbers, these are called quartiles. First, second is the median, and third quartile, meaning quarter, 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 quarter. Each quarter of this box plot is actually worth 25%. So you can start analyzing this and actually telling some interesting things, meaning 50% of all the grades are less than 85, 25% uh, of all the grades are higher than 90, 75% um, of all the grades are less than 90. You can start doing some interesting things with it, okay? Uh, so at this point, I would like you to uh, do this next problem on the next page. Okay, so with this question, what we're actually looking here for is um, how many... Oh, wrong button. Whoop. Let's see if I can... There, get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Shrink that back. Okay, so... Let's Okay, so here we have the hours per week that uh, a lady named Linnea, she worked um, each week for 12 weeks. She worked in the first week 21 average hours. In the second week, she worked 10 hours. In the third week, she worked 18. In the fourth week, she worked 12, so on and so forth. This is how many hours she worked in her 12 weeks. The things that you're going to be finding out are basically the mean median, mode, five, number summary, uh, standard deviation, and a box plot. Additionally, with that box plot, um, I want you to interpret when interpret uh, some things about what can you tell me about that box plot. So see what you can do. Uh, use one of our stat as my recommendation and uh, go through the exercise just to refamiliarize yourself with how to use the calculator of how to find the data and how to interpret what it is when you're looking at it. Ask questions if you have them.